Hi guys, so my camera's retarded and I know you can't read this, but I'm going to kind of show you. I just got this in my email a couple hours ago. This is my official calendar for meds. So I'm just going to go through it. It starts on the 19th of August, which was yesterday, and it goes to the 22nd of September. So all this line right here that I'm showing you, the 20th, the 21st, the 22nd, the 23rd, and the 24th, all say continue on birth control pills and to schedule my appointments at the monitoring clinic. So I'm on birth control for up until Friday, and I've already done my scheduling of appointments, so that's all done. On Saturday, take last pill. So I'll take the very last pill. And then on Sunday through next Wednesday, which is the 29th, it says expect a period from stopping the pill. And I called about this because I didn't know. And I guess they say, you know, you know they say that the only, um, The only stupid questions are questions that are not answered, so I called about this because it says expect a period from stopping the pill, and then right here is my appointment, which is on a Thursday, the 30th, and I know my period is going to last more than four days, so I didn't know if that was going to screw up the appointment, because there's an ultrasound. They actually want you to be on your period for this very first ultrasound so they can get to measure a good measurement of your uterus. So that's me kind of gross, but that's what's going to happen. So on the 30th, I have to, uh, yeah, on the 30th, I have to go to my appointment for my ultrasound and my E2, which is um, blood work, to check my, um, basically my estrogen levels, okay? And then it says, expect next day result. Ugh, sorry, you guys. I know you can't see that, like, at all. Okay, so on the 31st, it says, estrus, 2 milligrams, 1 tablet, twice a day. Um, so those are pills that I'll be getting. Um, so I'm starting that. I'm also starting estradiol. And I take 0.1 one, one cc uh, every three days. And then I'm starting my prenatal vitamin, folate, and DHA. So, yes. That's what I start on the 31st. So, going through September 1st, all the way through September 4th, I continue on estrogen support as instructed. Do not stop any uh, medication. So, on September 4th, so September 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, I only take my estrus and my, which is the tablet, and then my prenatal, my folate, and my DAJ. Uh, and then on the 4th, it's time for my estradiol 0.1 cc again, which is the every third day. <clears throat> now, uh... Same thing with the fifth. I'm just on the pills. And then the sixth is my next appointment, which will be another ultrasound and another E2. Next day results. And the next day results is what they will use to tell me, like, if I need to be going up to a different, if I need to be going up to more CCs of this or if I need to start this, that sort of thing. So, um... She put this in here, and of course I don't do it until she tells me, but she put it in here that I'll be doing estradiol 0.2 cc's every three days. And again, I'm, the whole time I'm staying on the prenatals and the other pills. So that is the 8th, 9th, and the 10th will be another estradiol shot. 11th and 12th, same thing, just the pills. 13th is my final appointment before the transfer if everything's going okay. So, ultrasound, E2, expect next day results, and on this day, I'm going to start taking, uh, it says estradiol, 2 cc's every 3 days. 
uh, that's the third day. So, uh, 14th, 15th, same thing. 16th would have been my every third day. So I'm a little confused because it doesn't have it. So uh, maybe I stop that right before. I'm not completely sure, but I'm sure they'll explain that to me. So September 16th, possible progesterone start. So if everything still goes okay, I'll be starting my progesterone shots and um, any pills and suppositories and all that kind of stuff. Uh, continue on estrogen, estrogen support, which is the pill, and then all of my prenatals, of course, for the 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th. 21st, first is possible transfer. So hopefully I will be having the transfer on September 21st. And then um, this is September 22nd, and all it says is schedule day 12 labs. I'm not really sure what that Oh, schedule day 12 labs. I get it. I get it. Sorry. So on the 22nd, I need to schedule my betas, which are going to be on day 12. And honestly, don't know what that would be. I think it will be the 4th of October. But I don't know what day that is, so I'm not sure. Anyway, so that's what that paper is. And I got that in the mail today. Now I can show you this other stuff. I might have it out of order, so sorry if I am kind of messing this up. Okay, so this is my start. Okay, so... Okay, so this is the letter I got, and it just says, like, what I'll be, um, taking, okay? So, this right here says birth control pills, and this is just like a paper version of what I've just, like a, a written version of what I just told you. So, like, plan to start estrogen support, 831, estradiol, valerate, 20 milligrams, uh, 0.1 cc every three days and possibly increase to 0.2 cd cc. Uh, this one is Estrace, two milligram tablets. Take one tablet two times daily and then possibly increase to three times daily. Naturally Smart prenatal vitamins. Take one tablet three times daily. Naturally Smart folate. Take one tablet one like take one tablet daily. Natural Smart DHA, take one tablet daily. Progesterone support, it says, do not start until instructed to start. And endometrin, 100 milligrams, it's a vaginal capsule. Insert one vaginal capsule at bedtime and then continue three times daily. Progesterone ethyl oleate, <laughs> progesterone ethyl oleate, <laughs> Inject one cc every day. See instructions. And then medrol, I might be saying that wrong, dosage pack. Take as instructed and package, no refills needed. They don't have that on my calendar, so I'm not really sure what that's about. I need to ask that too. Transfer, it says um, travel with medication. And then it says medication. Start the following medication after transfer. Baby aspirin, 81 milligrams, take one tablet daily. Refills, call pharmacy directly. So that's what that one says. I got like three more to go through, sorry. So, this is plan to start 831.12. This is my how to the administration of estradiol. Delestri it's delestrogen. Delestri that's hard to say. And then it shows you like this is going to be the needle or the syringe. Okay, and it says point one's right there, point two's right there. <clears throat> Every three days, use a one cc syringe to measure the dose. If available, use an 18 gauge, one and a half inch needle to withdraw the liquid from the vial. When the correct dose is measured, pull the needle out of the vial, then pull back on the plunger to empty the needle with fluid. Replace the 18 gauge needle with a 22 gauge one and a half inch needle. Inject by intramuscular injection to the upper 
outer quadrant of the buttocks. And then there's a pretty little picture. So just in case you don't know, this is your butt. And there's little X's right here where you can do it. So this is a 1cc or TV syringe. It just shows that. So 2 milligrams equals 0.1cc, 4 milligrams equals 0.2cc. Um, these instructions apply to E2 Valerate labeled 20 milligrams. If your medication shows a different concentration, it is crucial to show it to your physician or nurse to calculate your specific dosage. Failure to do so may result in medication errors. So that's that page. The next page is just basically explaining that. Um, E2 Valerate is a form of estrogen administered by intramuscular injection. It is usually prescribed for the female patient during various types of assisted reproduction treatment cycles to stimulate or enhance the endometrial lining. The most common possible side effects of this medication are mood swings, headaches, abdominal bloating, increased vaginal secretions, and irritation at the side of the injections. Patients using this medication may feel some or all or none of these effects. Presence or absence of these side effects is not an indication of how well the drug is working or whether or not the patient is pregnant. It is important to report any unusual side effects to your physician. This medication is administered by intramuscular injection once every three days. It is measured in small doses ranging from 1 milliliter to 0.6 cc for E2 Valerate labeled 20 milligrams. You will be using a small 1 cc or, two, uh, or TB syringe to measure and inject the E2 Valerate. Valerate sorry. The use of an incorrect syringe may result in medication errors that will adversely affect your cycle. If you have any questions, please ask the clinical team. So, going through this, I have came up with a couple questions, so I do need to know that. Not about this so much, but I'm confused about that packet that I'm supposed to be starting. Um, okay, this is the same kind of thing. The administ administration of progesterone. And... It just shows where I'll be going up to. Dose, wash, wash hands. Um, these are 18 gauge gauge to dry it out, 22 gauge to put it in. Intramuscular, it's a 3 cc syringe. This is the area, same area, so my poor little butt is going to be sore. Anyways, that is pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys what I got. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what I got, so. That's it.